Devahuti engaged only in service of Kardama Muni. <coughs> she was not supposed to be so advanced in austerity, ecstasy, meditation or Krishna consciousness, but imperceptibly she was sharing her husband's achievements which she could neither see nor experience. Automatically she achieved the graces of the Lord. <coughs> what are the graces of the Lord? It is stated here that the graces of the Lord are abhaya, free from fearfulness. In the material world, if someone accumulates a million dollars, he is always full of fear because he is always thinking. What if the money is lost? But the benediction of the Lord, Bhagavat Prasada, is never to be lost. It is simply to be enjoyed. There is no question of loss. One simply gains and enjoys gaining. Bhagavad Gita also confirms this. When one achieves the grace of the Lord, the result is that Sarvadukhani, all distresses, are destroyed. When situated in the transcendental position, one is freed from the two kinds of material diseases, which is hankering and lamentation. This is also stated in Bhagavad Gita. After devotion, life begins. We can achieve the full result of love of Godhead. The love of Krishna is the highest perfection of Bhagavat Prasada or Divine Mercy. This transcendental achievement is so greatly valuable that no material happiness can compare to it. Prabhupada Saraswati said that if one achieves the grace of Lord Chaitanya, he becomes so great that he does not care even a fig for the demigods. He thinks of monism as hellish and for him the perfection of controlling the senses is as easy as anything. Heavenly pleasures come to him no more than stories. Actually there is no comparison between material happiness and transcendental happiness. By the grace of Kardama Muni, Devahuti experienced actual realization simply by serving. We get a similar experience in life of Narada Muni. In his previous life, Narada was a maid servant's son, but his mother was engaged in the service of great devotees. He got the opportunity to serve the devotees and simply by eating the remnants of their footsteps and carrying out their orders, he became so elevated that in his next life he became the great personality, Narada. For spiritual achievement, the easiest path is to take shelter of a bona fide spiritual master and to serve him with heart and soul. That is the success, secret of success. As stated by Vishwanath Chakravit Thakur in his eight stanzas of prayer to spiritual master, Yesya Prasada, Bhagavat Prasada. By serving or receiving the grace of the spiritual master, one receives the grace of the Supreme Lord. By serving her devotee husband, Karadava Muni, Devahuti shared in his achievements. Similarly, a sincere disciple, simply by serving a bona fide spiritual master, can achieve all the mercy of the Lord and the spiritual master simultaneously. So thus, Karadama Muni was very pleased by the service of uh, Devahuti. She engaged in sincere service of Karadama Muni, uh, even at the cost of her own bodily sense pleasures and health even. And Karadamamuni was very much uh, pleased by seeing her devotional mood, her service mood with which she was trying to please Karadamamuni. Now Karadamamuni says, I have achieved the blessings of the Lord in discharging my own religious life of austerity, meditation, Krishna consciousness. And although you have not experienced it, what is that result of that? Free from fear and lamentation. I shall offer them all to you because you are engaged in my service. Now just look at them. I am giving you the transcendental vision to see how nice they are. <clears throat> so, Karnamuni, he is giving all his mercy to Devahuti. And Devahuti is able to uh, experience uh, transcendental uh, opulence of fearlessness and lamentation 
or freedom from hankering and lamentation which is achieved by karmamani due to his austerity meditation and krishna consciousness so this is uh, <clears throat> the way one uh, is one of the ways by which one can very easily as propat says a very easily achieve advancement in spiritual life he is by serving a pure devotee serving a vaishnava one gets uh, mercy of the lord the lord is very pleased the lord is very pleased because he sees the serving mood of the devotee the mood of devotion service the mood of servitude is very much appreciated by the supreme lord whenever a devotee is engaging in devotion service with a service mood mood of surrender then the lord in the heart is very much pleased with such a disposition of the devotee the attitude of servitude is very much uh, sought after by the lord because that is the original position where the living entity can become free from this material entanglement of lording material lord material world is a world where we are all conditioned and diseased by this lording tendency we want to lord over everything in other words we want to as we discussed yesterday our mind is all fruity fruity means do something and get the fruit for oneself uh, that is called lust so they, we are ruled by the three modes of material nature one way or the other whether it is satguna rajaguna or tamaguna are all characterized by this particular attitude of lust so therefore as soon as a living entity learns how to be servant and especially if it so servant of good fortune if that living entity who is engaged in that servitude is serving a pure devotee of the lord then one gets asya prasadat bhagavat prasadat asya prasadat nagati kutopi so one get quickly one advances in spiritual life by getting the mercy of the spiritual master just see what all devahuti did and this is what we will also have to do to get the mercy of shila prabhupad devahuti was helping kardamamuni in his transcendental activities similarly we have to help shila prabhupad in his transcendental activities his transcendental activities is to spread krishna consciousness all over the world his transcendental activity is or his transcendental mission is to serve the mission of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu so prabhupad's um, mission is very clear there is no doubt about it what what could be prabhupad's mission no there is no doubt prabhupad wants to give krishna consciousness wants everybody to chant hari krishna wants this prasadam to be distributed wants his books to be distributed wants to make devotees chant hari krishna and 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 make advancement and become pure devotees this is clearly the mission of shila prabhupad so in every possible way if we also take up that mission in our heart as a mission of my guru not as one's own mission as a mission of my guru then everything that you are doing is for the pleasure of shila prabhupad and then by prabhupad's mercy transcendental mercy when the super soul sees that this devotee is situated properly as a servant of my servant not as an upstart but as a servant of the servant then he will see then then the supreme lord in a moment he glances on us mercifully and all our spiritual desires are fulfilled yasya prasadat bhagavat prasadat so this is the path that we are treading for advancing in krishna consciousness as i said the other, uh, yesterday the, the 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 role of austerity and these things are not very uh, are are required to minimal 
but what largely is required is to synchronize our mind with the mind of the spiritual master that is the biggest contribution of our success austerity i said as a principle in the human life in human body we have to keep always some austerity so little austerity always we used to keep so that we don't go into comfort zone we don't have to do the kind of austerity that devouti did in terms of completely neglecting her health and everything we cannot imitate an advanced soul so therefore prabhupada has given us very nice comfortable life practically at the same time he always warned us spiritual life means austerity if there is some austerity the mind will always learn how to tolerate difficulties if the human being does not have the quality of tolerance then he can never control his senses the prerequisite to control the senses is first to tolerate if you cannot tolerate then you will you will succumb to sense gratification the quality of tolerance is very important and therefore that austerity is also very important to tolerate because if you have to maintain austerity then you have to be very tolerant if you are not tolerant you will not maintain austerity that austerity yesterday i expect i explained very little very little austerity in every year, eating sleeping meeting defending so many things so many likes so many dislikes we have in our minds so all that thing you don't go and satisfy exactly you satisfy little little less to keep don't de, don't deprive it to the extent to which your service is disturbed but at the same time don't fully satisfy it of course the injunction is very clear don't over satisfy it so the paradigm of over satisfying our needs is also not good just satisfying is a very very another paradigm which is uh, second best and the third best is to always keep little deficit so that your mind is always alert there is something to learn tolerance give example of hard work how much you do always see that you need to work little harder little harder for propan so here transcendental opulence what is the gift that one gets from the spiritual master jnana and vairagya and bhakti these are the things that you get from the spiritual master and when the devotee is very sincerely serving the spiritual master with bhakti for spiritual master then paramatma in the heart gives jnana and vairagya because it has to shine in our heart transcendental knowledge and vairagya detachment which is a consequence of transcendental knowledge without the mercy of the spiritual master one cannot understand one cannot live a life of i am not this body and the body is only an instrument we have to move from bodily concept of life to concept of bodily instrument instrument concept of life because body is there just like you you think you are the car there's car concept of life but if you if you are driving the car thinking that the car is a machine that is very useful for me then that is called normal consciousness or instrument concept of life car is an instrument i'll get into one car i'll get into another car another car another car doesn't matter but i am not the car so to go from bodily concept of life into instrument concept of body one needs the mercy of 
the spiritual master in the form of enlightenment transcendental enlightenment transcendental clarity clarity in our consciousness who i am and if one unless one transcends this bodily concept of life he cannot not feel lament lamentation and hankering one should not misunderstand here let's see the statement here propat says in the material world if someone accumulates a million dollars he is always full of fear because he is always thinking what if the money is lost but the benediction of the lord bhagavad prasad is never to be lost it is simply to be enjoyed there is no question of loss now one should not think that devotee will never lose money the benediction of the bhagavad prasada of the lord bhagavad prasad is never to be lost it is simply to be enjoyed there is no question of loss one simply gains and enjoys gaining now one should not think that one simply gains getting money and keeps on enjoying getting more money because what is that gain is a point bhagavad gita also confirms this when one achieves the grace of the lord the result is sarva dukhani all distresses are destroyed again one should not think that if i get the mercy of the lord all my material problems are solved i have now i have a distress of a disease disease will vanish then what is being said here next when situated in the transcendental platform position one is freed from two kinds of material disease hankering and lamentation these opulences are enjoyed by the consciousness of the living entity because of detachment transcending from these things if he has a disease is transcended the disease he does not think i am diseased he thinks the body may be diseased body is diseased i am not diseased there is a big difference if your pen doesn't write you don't feel eternal distress you buy another pen your writing ability is still there with your pen is gone along with that my writing ability is gone why because you are thinking i am the pen so this freedom from lamentation and hankering can be experienced only when we realize our nature as brahma bhuta not the sharira sharira concept of life brahma bhuta prasanna atma na sochati na kanchati that means our consciousness our identification should be with brahman our identification which should be the substance living substance as amshas of paramatma of the same quality as god i am not the quality of this matter i am not the quality of this body so the opulence of feeling always you are gaining and gaining and gaining is not of any material thing but it is a feeling of going on gaining detachment and transcendental knowledge gaining clarity and clarity and clarity the devotee is always ever fresh because the lord in the heart is continuing to reveal to him so many things and he is serving the spiritual master he is transcending the three modes of material nature by virtue of his consciousness by virtue of his new identification with brahman by virtue of his identification with spirit by virtue of his identification with spiritual desiring spiritual identification i am servant of krishna spiritual desire spiritual purpose spiritual intention 
Everything is transformed into spiritual. With Guru and Krishna as a center, they are the personalities to whom you intend everything, for whom, for every purpose of your existence is for them. Every goal that you have, every milestone that you have in your life, everything is meant for spiritual master. So all your soul faculties are completely directed to pleasing the Guru and Krishna. What does that mean? What does that result in? Our ability, our, our, our faculty all becomes purified. We become purified. That is the purpose of devotional service, to become purified and situate ourselves in our purified state of service to the Lord. So this is so interest, this is so exciting. One simply gains and enjoys gaining. We are Sat, Chit and Ananda. By nature we enjoy pure Chit. By nature we enjoy ananda of devotional service. By nature we enjoy identifying ourselves as amshas of God. So when these three kinds of enjoyment is your target enjoyment, is to relish these things, it is your surupa ananda, it is your natural ananda. So that natural ananda is simply you gain and enjoy gaining. You keep getting more anandam, abuddhi vardhanam. It is an ever-expanding happiness, sat, chitta, ananda. This is also stated in Bhagavad Gita. After devotion service begins, one can, we can achieve the full result of love of God. And also when the devotee when he does not have his drishti into this material world to achieve anything for his body, not only for his body, there are two things. We have two concepts of life. Bodily concept of life and then that is an extended bodily concept of life is to see everybody else's body and feel that I am a member of this society consisting of bodily concept of some life. It's a concept society. There is no real society like that. I am the body, I am thinking. You are thinking, I am this body. He is thinking, he is body. Everybody is thinking, everybody else is their body. So what is there, what everybody is living? Everybody is living a bodily concept of life. And everybody is relating each other with the bodily concept of life. Which means I am a member of this bodily concept. So, Maya Devi creates a concept world. You are this, you are this, none of us are this. And then we all th believe we are this and then we interact socially together. So, there is a social concept, social extension. There is a social concept, a bodily concept of life. That social extension of bodily concept of life is what wants name, fame, adoration, distinction. These are the senses. So when we say simply don't enjoy bodily concept of life, means if I am the body, I want to enjoy my bodily senses. If you think you are part of this world, I am part of this material world, then you want name, fame, everything in this material world. When we understand that, no, I am part of a transcendental world. I am part of the world of Prabhupada. I am, the part of, I, am the, I am part of the world of the deities. I am part of the world of the previous Acharyas. I am the part of the world of the um, transcendental, uh, the unlimited expansions of the deities. Unlimited expansions on this earth. These are all my personalities. My world consists of these personalities. The deities. Deity manifestation, Archa Vigraha, Archa, Archa manifestation, incarnation of the Lord everywhere. Like this. 
That also we discussed yesterday. Our Radha Krishna Chandra, our Radha Vrindavan Chandra. Because he's got so much Advaita, Machuda, Manadi, Mananta, Rupam. Among that one, two, Radha Krishna Chandra, Radha Vrindavan Chandra, Radha Damodar, your. If you, they're very personal. They're for you, for us. So we are in that social world. What is our social world? True concept of life is there. Here, duplicate concept of life, bodily concept of life. There, they are all true personalities. Prabhupada, Bhakti Siddhanta, Svetakur, Six Goswamis, they are all true personalities. So we are a member of that society. I am a member of that society. I am not a member of this worldly society of bodily concept of life. So I don't, when I say I am not a member of this concept, I have no interest in here. What is the use? Some people will glorify you, next day they will throw you. Even if they don't throw you, then you will go away and you, will, you are not there to enjoy that. All of India is telling Mahatma Gandhi is father of the nation, father of the nation. He is not there to enjoy father of nations. He is gone somewhere. He was a member of the Indian society, Indian bodily societies that existed in during the independence era time. None of those bodily concepts, personalities are existing now. All are vanished. All this Tilak, that was this man, that Rajendra Prasad, all of them vanished. Where are they? They were, they were all bodily concepts. And he was a member of that bodily concept. Now they wrote down that he is so and so, so and so. And the new bodily concept society came. Now we are the latest generation of bodily concept. What India means. Narendra Modi, this, that, this bodily concept. You see after few years, after 20 years, no Narendra Modi. 20, 30 years, whatever it is. Everybody becomes old, everybody dies. So what is the use of name and fame in this society? Why don't I get recognition from a smile from Srila Prabhupada? Yeah, we need. We beg for the mercy. We don't beg for the mercy from Guru Maharaj. Gurudev, please make me famous in this world. Make me an important devotee among the Vaishnavas. You don't even have such a desire. What is the use? Let me get the glance of Guru and Krishna. Let me engage in devotion service where they are pleased with my devotional mood. And that is my eternal asset. That is what I seek. I seek recognition. Not social recognition. In the heart of Krishna should recognize me. Heart of Prabhupada should recognize me. Not that Prabhupada should recognize me in the, in, in the eyes of the society. I am, you know, I did devotion service. I know what I am doing. I will sincerely try to serve. And I want to please Srila Prabhupada's heart. So that is Yeshya Prasadat, Bhagavat Prasadat. And the spiritual master is always wanting pure devotion service. As soon as you have that attitude, he will catch it like this. And Prabhupada gives the example of how Narada Muni also, simply by carrying out the orders and taking prasadam of the Mahad devotees, Mahajanas, great devotees, Mahatmas, he got all advancement in spiritual life. All advancement. One should understand that we are not advancing here by the Jnanic path. Jnanic path is becoming a very, you know, struggling to become a very knowledgeable person. We have to be a knowledgeable person, but we should not struggle to become a knowledgeable person. We should struggle to become a servant of the spiritual master. 
and we will become a knowledgeable person. We will automatically become knowledgeable person by Kripa, by the mercy of the spiritual master. Similarly, a sincere disciple simply by serving a bona fide spiritual master can achieve all mercy of the Lord and the spiritual master simultaneously. Any questions? Jai Grandarachimad Bhagavatam ki jai, Jagat Guru Shila Prabhupada ki jai.